guys, it's Leslie with The Social Launch. Today I'm gonna to show you how to remove your reviews from your Facebook page. The reason why you might want to remove reviews is if you start getting fake reviews, which is what happened to my Facebook page. It was a very strange situation. The last blog post that I wrote was about verifying your Facebook page, which I got great response and people said it really helped them out. One person though reached out and wanted me to verify their page they didn't have the option, so there wasn't a whole lot that I could do to help them. I did try, but he got mad. We had several of his friends go to my page and rate it a one, which was so very sad because I had awesome reviews from real clients who left good feedback. Um, so I did actually remove the reviews tab from my business Facebook page just for the time being. So that's why you might want to turn reviews off your page is if you are getting attacked on your Facebook page, so you wanna stop those reviews. But again, if you are getting a few bad reviews or maybe just one bad review, but it's a legitimate bad review, I wouldn't take that down because it's gonna make that customer even more frustrated and even more mad that you just ignored them. If you do have any real customer reviews that are a little bit not so great, I'd highly recommend trying to fix them, maybe taking it offline, asking if you can send them a message or give them a call, visit them at the home, whatever you need to do to try to help repair whatever happened. Maybe there's nothing that you can do to repair that relationship, but I highly recommend trying to deal with it. But if you're getting fake reviews like I did, which was so sad, um, you might wanna take your reviews down and it's super simple to do this. Okay, so if you want to remove your reviews off of Facebook, go to your business Facebook page, click on settings, and this is going to bring up the area that you can edit your page. This is the same area that if you want to change the order of the tabs that are on your Facebook page, you can do that. So you can see right here, this is where all of my tabs are. And if you scroll to the bottom because I have removed my reviews to add the reviews back, you would click on add tab. So if you want to add like the jobs tab or notes or offers, anything like that, that's where you would add that. Now, if we go back to my main page, you'll be able to see here that on the left hand side you can see the reviews tab. So you, I highly recommend if you have some bad reviews to try to work them out with the people, don't just try to delete them. However, if you start getting a bunch of reviews from fake people that you haven't done any work for, um, I think it's okay to turn your reviews off. You can even just do it for a temporary period of time. Um, so the fake reviews that I received, I actually reported them to Facebook. So while that was happening, I just wanted to go ahead and turn these off, click save. And then when you go back to your page, you will see that the review tab is now off of your page. I highly suggest if you do get a bad review, that you actually keep that on your page, respond to the person and try to deal with the customer issue. And the reason you wanna do this is because it keeps your reviews actually legit. If someone comes to your page, they see that someone had an issue with your business, they can see that you did try to deal with it and tried to improve your service or tried to at least fix the problem with the customer. Thanks so much for watching, I appreciate it. If you have any questions, leave me a comment below or you can reach out to me, leslie at thesociallaunch.com and ask me a question. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, hit subscribe and click the little bell to get notified every time I post a new video.